This remote village in Faridabad, India, lacking any modern convenience or electricity, is actually on the cutting edge of India's future. On the isolated island of Parintins, Brazil, entire families are embracing the digital age. And in schools in Nigeria, where students didn't even have textbooks a few years ago, children now dream of a better future. I want to be a medical doctor. I would like to be an engineer, a computer engineer. In over 60 countries around the world, teachers are effectively using technology to improve learning in classrooms like never before through the Intel Teach program. Intel's success as a business is dependent on highly skilled workers and knowledgeable customers, and its philanthropic program is aimed at improving the next generation of innovators, problem solvers, and citizens of the world by teaching skills like technology and digital literacy, effective communication, critical thinking, problem solving, and collaboration. We want to increase the standard of living of Mexicans, and we definitely see that IT and IT literacy is key to this. With a focus on math, science, and engineering, Intel uses a train-the-trainer approach, helping teachers to learn how, when, and where to incorporate technology in the classroom, and giving them the tools and resources to be successful. She's your classmate, right? Then this is she's your classmate, too. Through strong partnerships with local governments, Intel Teach sustains long-term programs. Some countries have found the program so effective, they've adopted it for certification for their teachers. In the last decade, Intel has donated over $1 billion to train more than 7 million teachers, support universities with research grants to create curriculum, and motivate learning through science and entrepreneurship competitions. Intel CEO Paul Ottolini recently made the company's largest long-term commitment focused specifically on science and math education with an additional 10-year, $120 million grant. And Intel employees have volunteered almost 3 million hours toward improving education. We do not know who is going to be the leader of tomorrow. It could be one former son could very well be the president of India. We have to look at the potentialities of a child and we have to help him develop that. Over 90% of teachers involved in the Intel Teach program report that their students are now more motivated and involved in their classrooms. And those students, better prepared, educated, and skilled, are the world's next generation of thinkers, problem solvers, and leaders.